Hello everybody and welcome to the program Wine Passion. My name is Talgal Cohen and this is my table which I speak about Israeli wines uh, from all the wineries that comes from Israel. And today I'm very excited because we have a special winery on the table. It's a well-known, one of the iconic wine of Israel. It's called uh, Castel Winery or should I say properly Domaine du Castel. Domaine du Castel. Um, the winery, it's it's really a legendary, legendary winery. It's established 20 years ago by Eli Ben Zaken, which was a um, restaurateur, as we say. Uh, he owned the restaurant, Mamma Mia, in, uh, in Jerusalem, and with his family. And he found out that the Israeli wines at that time were not, suffici not sufficient enough and were so so in a way of quality. So he decided to do his own. So he planted some, uh, some vines on the slope of the uh, of uh, Judea hills and he started making wines and he didn't realize how you know how well the wine was until in 1995 he received a fax from no more than less than Serena Sathlip this is a real fairy tale of the uh, of the world of wine in Israel Serena Sathlip the um, legendary uh, wine uh, specialist from Sotheby's and um, she received a, wa a bottle from her friend in Israel, Dalepin Lermel, that passed away. She was a journalist and, and really uh, a wine and food connoisseur. And she introduced Castel Wine to her. And Serena wrote in the facts that it was um, a great surprise and finally to find an Israeli wine in that level. So she encouraged Ellie to continue with his work and uh, this this is how he, he, he get old his uh, family and uh, put a lot of money and build a proper winery in Israel now Castel winery um, is is always considered one of the best wineries in Israel it uh, has a lot of trophies and medals and the high scores by everyone usually even Robert Parker from United States give, give uh, the wines uh, high scores and, uh, and 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 they're really really nice family because all the family is working to, together the father Ellie and the mother and the three children Ilana she is the older uh, sister she's in charge of export <clears throat> and the two sons uh, Ariel and Nathan are all working in the in the winery together so it's beautiful to see a, a real winery run by the family um, and making this amazing wines. Now um, the winery is in uh, Ramat Raziel, not far in the middle of Jerusalem. It's like, how should I say, 20 minutes from Jerusalem, 20 minutes from Tel Aviv. It's just in the middle of the road, located one of the beautiful roads going to the winery and uh, I do recommend you to visit there but don't just you know go and visit give a ring send the mail you know that you are going to to visit make an appointment that will be my best recommendation so they can take care of you the proper way so we have four wines usually at the old days uh, the winery used to do three wines only the white and the two reds and for the last uh, i think two three years they 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 produced the rosé du castel which is um, last year that I tasted it was beautiful wine. We'll see what happened today. From the last uh, vintage of 2010, uh, 2012, we have the Rosé of uh, Du Castel. It's mainly from uh, Merlot and Malbec and some Cabernet Franc blend. So it's a beautiful combination. And uh, look at the color, it's really beautiful. It's not even pink, it's more kind of. Uh, um, special um, uh, um, <clears throat> how should I say like like a salmon uh, a white salmon even a beautiful color uh, more orange and than even pink so so I love the the color but the smell listen I hope you could smell it with me that's it's blossom it's like you have here some some grapefruits and you have 
uh, um, many strawberries and and cranberries and many many other fruits. Delicious. That's the only way. Delicious. It's a dry, beautiful rosé. Really, I enjoy it immensely. So, the best summer wine so far. And the, from here we go to the white. This is the Chardonnay, but it's not... You know, in Israel we have two characters of Chardonnay. The one is the young Chardonnay, which is um, uh, only made in stainless steel containers. Uh, tanks and go straight away to the bottle very young very fresh very acidic uh, very crispy and then you have uh, like uh, what Golan Heights do that uh, they, they age the wine in oak barrel now this is the extreme if uh, if we smell this this wine Wow this is this is so intense you have here a lot of buttery flavor, oak flavor, but also the yeast because it's uh, it's uh, what we call surly, which is uh, uh, the, the the wine is aged on the leaves, and and we have um, it is so creamy, so creamy and buttery. It's amazing. It's so full of flavor and. Very balanced, very balanced, very oily, very oak, not oaky, but you, you can feel it in your mouth, but it's, it's so round, it's so round, so heavy. This is like a big Chardonnay, really a big Chardonnay. And listen, it won, it won the best Chardonnay, the best uh, white wine, the best Chardonnay in the um, air, airplane competition, the, the, the companies. So, um, no wonder, you know. I give you the prices of all the, all the wines now, so, so I won't forget. The rosé costs 95 shekels. The C, uh, the, the Blanc du Castel is uh, 145 shekels. The Petit Castel is 124 shekels. It's a blend I will talk about in a second. And the last blend, the Grand Van, is 260 shekels. Now we're moving to the young red wine, the Petit Castel from 2011. It's uh, a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot et Petit Verdot. It's aged around 16 months in um, uh, oak barrels and um, beautiful Bordeaux nose, uh, a lot of black currant, a lot of uh, cassis, a bit of chocolate, a bit of um, yeah, you can have even even some uh, green pepper, white pepper also, if we're talking about herbs, herbs and spices. Beautiful wine. And the mouth is very, very elegant. You know, when I think about wine that goes, that that goes with food, this is the wine that I think of. I mean, give me an, a nice cereal, nice entrecote, maybe um, goose confit or whatever, a nice dish, meaty dish. This is the wine I want to have beside the meal. Perfect, perfect for the wine. And the last one is the Grand Vin. It's also a combination of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Petit Verdot. And, um, and it's age 20, 20 months in uh, oak barrels, new oak barrels, always new. It's a Sagan Moreau. This is a very like, uh, uh, distinguished character of the wine, uh, aging Sagan Moreau, new Sagan Moreau. I don't know what to say. I'm, 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 uh, this is a very exciting. This is emotional. When, when you meet a grand vin, when you meet a great wine, you don't have enough word for this. It's, it's so deep, so layered, so intense. This is 
go direct inside. Beautiful, beautiful wine. What can I say? Listen guys, wake up! One glass like that, not tasting. One glass a day will make you, here in Israel, more happy, more friendly, and more healthy. That's for sure. One glass a day. Lechaim!